robotics teams from Jenison will hit the international stage later this month. Yeah, News 8's Brittany Flowers stopped by their practice as they prepare for the World Championship. And how are they feeling, Brittany? These Jenison students have spent countless hours designing these robots to compete. I think we're pretty proud because there's a lot of teams that are really hard to go up against. Together, Gabriel Leisure, Joshua Donovan, Jonah Hernandez, and Nate Waring make up the flying pancakes, and the work they've put in has paid off. We can go like this. That's a lot faster than it used to be. Joshua is the team driver. So he's got three discs. Now he's going to uh, get his angle ready. This team of seventh graders, along with a high school team, both qualified for the VEX Robotics World Championship in Dallas, Texas. Obviously, we want to do good, but we're just going to try our best, have fun. I've never been to Texas before. Uh, I'm really excited to see all of the other countries that are going to be there. Nate Waring's dad, Casey, who's also an assistant coach, says this has been an incredible opportunity for his son. Talk about just fitting all the components of the STEM model. They have to program the robot to autonomously drive on a field. The field's usually about the same, but the game is different every single year. This season's challenge is called Spin Up. The goal is to use your robot to launch discs. More than 1,200 junior high and high school teams will compete at Worlds. Just going down and participating, I think, is the biggest thing for them. Of course, the opportunity does come at a cost, one that students and coaches hope the community will support. And you really are investing in the community with these kids because they are dedicated. So the teams are looking to raise a little more than $20,000 total to cover travel expenses. If you're interested in supporting them, you can find a link to their GoFundMe on our website, woodtv.com. Tom and Teresa.